How's it going everybody? Jared here and today we're going to be looking at a framework that I found online that makes life a whole lot easier in animating things. The name of it is Canvas and it requires little to no programming to add some pretty cool animations into your scene. Today I'm going to show you how to get this set up inside of your own project so you can start using it and start making some pretty cool animations. So let's get started. All right, so in order to install this framework, we need to head over to CocoPods.org. And if you don't know what CocoPods is, it's a way to implement frameworks inside of your Xcode project fairly easily, and it updates on a regular basis. So we can go into CocoPods right now, and if you haven't installed CocoPods, go over to your terminal. And inside of your terminal, you're going to take this piece of code and copy and paste that right inside of there so you install CocoaPods. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. And now that you have it installed, we're gonna go over to Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This will be a single B application, so go ahead, click next. Product name, I'm just gonna call mine Anim. You can really call it whatever, it's gonna be your own project. Uh, language will be Swift, devices universal. Go ahead, click next and create. And also it's important to note where you created your project because you're gonna be searching through it through terminal, so you need to know where things are. In this case, I just built it right onto my desktop, so it's gonna be really simple. Now in order to install this pod into your project, there's multiple ways of doing this. You can do it straight from terminal. I generally just like to do this where I say file, new, file, and I create a file inside of my project that's an empty file and I'm gonna give it the name of pod file it's very important that this is the name of the thing so that you can reference it later and then go ahead create now what do we want to put in this pod file? Well, let's go over to CocoaPods.org, go over to the Get Started, and I'm just going to copy this whole part right here, and I'm going to just paste that right there. Now there's a few things that we're going to add after this, but right now I'm just going to go over to Target, I'm going to change the My App to My Anim, or this is the name of your target that you're building it towards, so mine is Anim right there. So now we have that pod file created. You can just go ahead and delete these pods that are in there, they're not crucial to us, so we're going to keep doing that and then after this and we're just going to type in pod apostrophe apostrophe and we're just going to type in capital c canvas now we have this pod file created so let's go ahead and try building this right now so go ahead and find your project i'm just going to say ls to see where i am in my directory and then i'm going to say cd desktop to go to my desktop and then we just continue through this to search for our project so again this will be cd anim go inside of that project see where we are and now once you have the pod file visible in your directory so i have mine right here inside of my directory i can just go ahead and say pod install. Okay, so as you can see, the pod has installed. Now, as you can see, our whole project was changed because of this whole pod setup. So we actually need to go ahead and close this, head into our file again, and we need to now edit everything inside of our anim.xc workspace. So now let's just go ahead and open this up, and now we're gonna go into our anim project, and now we can edit this with our pod file. So now that we have Canvas installed into our project, we can now start using it. So let's head over to our main.storyboard, and the first thing I wanna do is everything with Canvas is done in view. You don't apply these properties to buttons and whatnot. You put the buttons inside of the view and everything inside of that view is edited accordingly. So we need to go ahead and add a view and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So go ahead, click and drag a view onto your project like so. And I'm just going to have this up here like this. Now with this view, I'm just gonna add a few constraints. So I'm gonna just say right click or control click and drag from this view over to the view, the hierarchy view. And we're just gonna say center horizontally in the container and also vertical spacing to top layout guide like so. And then also I wanna just keep the width and the height. So I'm just gonna keep that like so by adding constraints. And then now we have our view and it should all be blue lines. And now with this view, I wanna head over to the identity inspector right here and we're gonna give it the class of CS animation view. So now where this is coming from, if we head over to our pods, you should see that there's pods, canvas, and then canvas, and then CS animation view. So everything in here is being put on onto that view that we just created. And now we're going to be able to apply animations accordingly. Now the way we apply animations is we head over to our main.storyboard, we can click on this view again, and we need to head over to our user defined runtime attributes. And there are three attributes that you have to add. So the first one of this is going to be what type of animation are you gonna do? And this will be the type of a string. And then the value of this, we're gonna set this a little bit later, but it's essentially what type of animation are we going to do? Our next key path is going to be how long do you want this to run? So this will be our 
duration. This will be a number and then our value, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm gonna set this to one for now. And then after this, there's the delay. So this is, okay, do you want this to happen immediately, this animation to happen immediately, or do you want it to wait for a second or two or whatever? We can go over to this delay and I'm just gonna say uh, this is a number and we're gonna set this equal to zero right now as I want to have all the animations to happen immediately. And then yeah, we pretty much added an animation onto this view. We just need to figure out what this value is going to be. But first I'm going to add a button. So I'm just gonna click and drag this button onto the scene like so. I'm going to add some constraints to this button, but the way you do this is actually by adding some constraints with our animation view. So I'm gonna say, center horizontally and center vertically in the container, like so. So now we have our button centered inside of the animation view. And also it's really important to note that your button should be inside of your animation view. So if it's not uh, inside of your view, it would be right alongside it. But you wanna make sure that it is inside of your animation view. That way you have everything set up properly and the animation is actually affecting the button. And I think I accidentally deleted those constraints. There, back. So now we have our button all set up, now we're going to actually apply an animation. So we can go over to our csanimation.h file, and these are all the animations that you can apply to your view. And to preview what each one of these look like, you can head over to canvaspod.io and you can check out what each of these look like and figure out which one you want. Uh, let's say I want shake to be happening with this one. So I'm gonna go right here and see what that name is. And it's just lowercase shake, so I'm just gonna copy that, go over to my main.storyboard, click on our view, and then inside of this I'm just gonna say type and I'm gonna set the value to shake. And now if we were to build and run this, we should actually have our button shaking as soon as this is built, which is pretty awesome. We haven't done any programming yet. Thank you, Mang To and James Tang. You are awesome. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. And there you have it. Our project is built and the button has shook. <laughs> I don't, okay. And now of course, if you will go over to your view again, you can change the duration at which it shakes. And we can change this to let's say a four second animation. Let's build and run this and it'll be automatically edited. Let's go ahead and see how this works. And there you have it, we have our button shaking. Now this is cool and all, as soon as the view loads, we have an animation going on, but I want it so as soon as this button is pressed, I want an animation to go on. So I'm gonna go over to my button right here, open up my assistant editor, and inside of here, I'm gonna click on this button, I'm going to right click or control click and drag from that button over here, and I'm going to add an action. So this connection type will be an action, like so. The name of this, I'm just gonna call this pressed, meaning that this has been pressed, and then inside of this here, we're going to have something happen. So let's go ahead, add that action like so. And then inside of here, I also want to say import canvas. So now we have canvas imported to this project so that we can actually reference it. Now, another thing I want to do is go over to my CS animation view right here, and I'm going to right click or control click and drag from that, and I'm going to say outlet. And again, the name of this, I'm just gonna call this my uh, animation view. <laughs> you can call whatever you want. And now when this button is pressed, I just wanna easily say animview.startcanvasanimation. And it's going to apply that animation that we just put on there, and it's going to call it again, which is very awesome. So let's go ahead, build and run this. And there you have it, we have our button, it's shaking, but now we can actually just click this button and it's going to do that animation. I mean, how cool is that? That's awesome. And of course you can go back over to your project, go over to your UI view. I'm gonna set this back to a duration, let's say of 0.2. And then also I wanna switch this animation type to let's say pop. So now if we were to build and run this, we should now have it as soon as you touch the button, it's going to pop. But the problem is as soon as I click the button, you'll see that it does pop, but it's only after I release the button, which may be a preference to you, but I want it to happen as soon as the button is pressed. So I'm gonna go right down here. I'm gonna just delete this IB action that we have right there. Go on our button and make sure the outlet is also deleted. And then also with this button, I'm going to right click or control click and drag, and then we're going to add a connection type. This will be an action. The event will be touch down. So as soon as this touch down, we're going to have this animation go on. So again, we're gonna call this pressed. And then inside of here, again, very simple, animview.startcanvasanimation. And now if we were to build and run this, and now we can click this button and the animation goes on as soon as I touch down on that button, which is a preference of mine. And I just felt like showing you how to do that.
And like I said, anything that you put in here is going to be edited by this animation that goes on. So we can add a switch, or we can add an activity indicator, or an image. Do whatever you want. It's going to be edited by that UI view. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had to show in this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. I think this framework is pretty dang awesome. Thank you Mang To and also James Tang for making it. You guys are awesome. Go check them out on Twitter. I'll leave their links in the description down below. Anyway, go have fun with this framework and I will see you in the next one. So let's get started.